Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. There are times when your operating system needs to tell you something. Your pants are on fire! Well, I'm guessing your OS will never say that. At least I, I hope not, in any case. Uh, but, you know, it may need to tell you that uh, something needs to happen. Uh, you know, maybe there's uh, an update available. Maybe there's uh, um, some um, spyware definitions that need to be updated. Maybe you haven't scanned your computer recently. Maybe there's something else that's going on that you may not realize is going on. Uh, and usually this is uh, managed in an ad hoc manner. Uh, there's no one place for you to receive all these messages. Uh, at least in a, a clear, cohesive fashion, and then uh, be able to browse through the history of the messages uh, that had you know, popped up over time. Well, inside of Windows 7, there is a new tool called the Action Center, and uh, the icon is running right there in the system tray. Now, I happen to be using uh, Windows 7 Beta Build 7000 inside of VMware Fusion, um, which, of course, means it's sitting inside a virtual machine right now. And if you want to buy VMware Fusion uh, for yourself, you know, I've got a coupon for it. I also have a coupon for Parallels. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and click the Action Center icon, and, and I'm going to zoom in. It's this, this little flag here. You see it? That, that, that flag right there. And yes, I'm running in classic mode, by the way, in Windows 7 because it's a virtual machine, and it, it doesn't have the full arrow experience. So I'm going to press Open Action Center. Let's zoom back out again. And right now, I'm looking here at uh, security messages. It says, Windows Update is set to install updates after checking with you. OK, sounds good. I have the option to, if I zoom in again, turn off messages about Windows Update, which I would not advise. There's also a maintenance section, so where you can check for solutions to problem reports, check for solutions. There's the privacy policy, settings, and then view system history. Let's do that, Let's see what that is. Nice. Review your computer's reliability and problem history. Stability index is calculated based on the number of hardware and software problems and changes. Okay, looks like I'm doing well so far. No reports in this view. All right, let's close that. Zoom back out. And uh, that is the Action Center, uh, being able to go through these notifications that otherwise uh, would be unbrowsable, at least you know, for a majority of the people using Windows. You could find a history likely somewhere inside the OS, but it wouldn't be uh, written in English or presented in, in such a, a capacity. Uh, it, underneath the maintenance section, uh, there's also the ability uh, to go through troubleshooting, which I've never been impressed with Windows troubleshooting wizards. They just never really worked okay uh, for, for some odd reason. Now crashing? Yeah, that'd be kind of funny. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Uh, there's also the ability to uh, view performance information, uh, and that would be like rating your computer. You know, I, th that's kind of an arbitrary number system that I don't think worked out very well uh, in Windows Vista. People were more confused by the rating of their computer. I know why uh, they did it the way they did it uh, to help people understand if uh, you know they were in a store to see a piece of software they'd be able to look at a number and say, oh, my computer's rated higher than that, and they would be able to uh, buy with some degree of confidence rather than trying to memorize what kind of processor they have. That's the reason why the rating system was instituted. So hopefully the Action Center is going to help you stay more organized, uh, keep a better eye on uh, what's been going on inside of your computer, at least as far as the hardware and software in Windows 7 is concerned. Certainly a very welcome addition. Uh, the more that um, Windows does to help average users manage problems, I, I think the better off we're all going to be. Because even if an average user um, you know, isn't able to figure something out, they could uh, very easily get to the action center and somebody uh, on uh, you know, uh, some kind of uh, phone call or some other remote location would be able to troubleshoot it uh, with them uh, with a greater degree of ease. So there's the Action Center, a new feature in Windows 7. Now if you know of another really cool new feature in Windows 7, at least the beta builds, feel free to pass it along. I'd love to share it with the rest of the community. I'd love to take a look at myself. My email address is chris at perillo.com. And of course, you know we've got a community of geeks at geeks.perillo.com. Lovely set of geeks. Lovely. Can I say lovely? Is that okay if I say that?
I mean, they, they're nice. I mean, all geeks are nice. We all have opinions. Some are more lovely than others. <clears throat> You're also welcome to join us in the chat room. We're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, 7 days a week in conjunction with this live video feed at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.